Ben Sven here and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 3. Today we're going to be talking about some shocking breaking news. We need to break it down so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so it was just announced and I'm reading off of a deadline article which I'll leave the link in the description below that Superman Lois is going to recast Jonathan Kent as Jordan Elsass exits the CW series. So this is some major breaking news. I was not expecting anything along the lines of this happening for Superman Lois Season 3. This is completely out of the blue, completely unexpected. And honestly, when I read it this morning, I had to really double check if I was reading the headline right. And so we're going to be breaking down this article, we're going to read it all the way through so we can get a little bit of insight into what exactly has happened here. Then I will talk about my thoughts, my theories about Jonathan in Season 3 and everything else that we need to talk about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and read through this deadline article. So it begins like this. Superman Lois series regular Jordan Elsass will not be returning for the upcoming third season of the CW's DC series. As a result, his role, Jonathan Kent, will be recast. The decision was made after the Texas native Elsass did not report back to work by the deadline given to the cast to reconvene in Vancouver where Superman Lois films. Then this is a quote, Jordan Elsass has notified the studio that he will not be returning to Superman Lois for season 3 due to personal reasons. The role of Jonathan Kent will be recast, the series producer Warner Brothers TV said in a statement Tuesday night. There is no comment yet from Elsass or his team on the abrupt exit. According to sources, Elsass has been dealing with some serious personal issues, some of them possibly related to mental health, that the series' producers became aware of. There is also conflicting information whether Elsass left or was let go. Elsass's COVID vaccination status also is unknown. He is believed to have used an exception during filming last season, which it seemed to be confirmed by a quickly deleted Instagram story he posted in February in which he questions whether vaccines work. Canada has a policy about not allowing unvaccinated people to come into the country which was recently tested on Novak Djokovic, the tennis player who was denied entry into the country. And so in Elsass's case, this is actually a moot point because he did not attempt to return to the set in Vancouver, according to sources. So that is the Deadline article. There is some shocking revelations within that, especially due to his abrupt exit, because it seems like they were told, like the whole cast was told, okay, you got to be back in Vancouver maybe like two weeks before filming starts, because currently right now, it's the 17th of August, pretty much in just over two weeks, it's going to be the start of Superman Lois Season 3, so they need to be in town, they need to be ready, and start learning their lines, I guess. I don't know the exact reasons as to why they have to come in a lot earlier. However, as of right now, we know that they are supposed to film at the start of September at least, and so the shocking news is that Jordan actually notified the studio that he would not be returning to Superman Lois for season 3 due to personal reasons. Now these personal reasons obviously can be speculated about and they don't know whether he was let go or he decided not to come back but according to the statement it seems like he told the studio look I'm not coming back and he obviously gave the reasons to the studio but I'm not going to publicize that because when it's personal reasons in terms of the media they try not to release that they try and just say personal reasons to keep it kind of ambiguous because apparently Jordan has been going through some mental health issues which is obviously a big deal and I fully support if he's going through something like that that he doesn't return because maybe it's for the best for him personally and obviously that's what's most important the TV show isn't the most important thing although it is a shame that he is not returning to Superman Lois and it being this abrupt it means he doesn't have a proper send off and that is why they are rooting to recast him. Now, we're going to break some of this down and talk about my personal opinions and my theories about what's going to happen with Jonathan in Season 3. So, his exit obviously was abrupt, like we've said. 
And I have to say, it kind of reminds me a little bit of when they announced suddenly that Ruby Rose was leaving Batwoman, and they said it was due to a couple of issues that she had. I just wanted to point it out. I feel like we've had this before. This isn't the first time that this happened in the Arrowverse. And also, I think right now, due to what's happening in the Arrowverse and Warner Brothers and the CW as a whole, it's actually a big kind of shame that this is happening right now because... DC isn't in a good place, like, all the shows are getting cancelled, the films, they are steeped in controversy due to Ezra Miller and things like that, and Batgirl just got cancelled by Warner Brothers Discovery, so we're not in a very good place right now in terms of publicity, so this isn't obviously a very good publicity thing for Superman Lois, and obviously the show has been going so well, and... Jordan was always great as Jonathan, so I personally think it sucks that he's not coming back and it would have been great to see him continue because he is such a good actor and he plays Jonathan so well, especially alongside Jordan. It's going to be weird seeing anyone else alongside Jordan, but the big next question that we have to ask is who will play him next? Well, this recasting obviously is coming out of nowhere for the people working on Superman Lois so that means that the casting director is going to have to get on quickly to try and find a really good replacement. If they are unable to do it in such a short period of time because they are due to start filming at the start of September, maybe we'll see a lot less of Jonathan at the start of the season and then by the time that they find the perfect replacement for Jordan Elsass, that's when Jonathan will make more of an impact on the screen at the start of season 3. That's obviously just a theory right now, but I feel like that is the sensible way to go about it. And we don't know right now if Jordan actually notified any of the key higher-ups at the show that he wouldn't be returning before this statement actually came out. I would presume they'd known for like the last week or so, that would be my guess. I don't think that they're finding out just by this deadline article or something. So I think, you know, they've already started looking into who can actually be the person to take over Jordan's role as Jonathan Kent. And I think they're going to find a lot of people want to play this character, but it's going to be very hard to replace him because Jordan was so good as Jonathan, it's going to be really hard to replace him. And so, do I have any theories as to which actor could potentially be in the running? Well, we've heard absolutely nothing about anyone being considered right now, and that is obviously due to this being such new information, like we literally just found out about it, and I doubt that the showrunner Todd Helbing actually found out more than like a week ago like I previously said so I think right now anyone could be in the running but I do think a lot of people want to join Superman Lois because it's gonna be around for a while it's a pretty steady job and being a big character on a show like Superman Lois is definitely to be desired as an actor you might get a lot of recognition and so yeah, right now I'm not going to place any bets on who I would like to actually appear or who I think would appear. Maybe you guys have some theories, let me know in the comments down below. I would really like to find out and read about them and maybe do some more thinking and then we'll do another video potentially on some of the casting ideas that you have. That could be something that we do in the near future. And also remember, please be sure to tell me your opinions in the comments below. Were you just as shocked as I was? when I read the article that was released online saying that he wasn't coming back. And so I have a couple more things I want to talk about. And this is how season three is going to go ahead considering this exit. So I think definitely like I previously kind of mentioned is that I think Jordan is definitely going to be focused upon more that being Jordan Kent, not Jordan else as the actor. Very confusing with the Jordan Jonathan thing. But I think there's going to be less Jonathan, as I previously said, to start fans in a good place so that they're able to adjust. And so by focusing more on Jordan's development and Superboy and his relationship to Sarah and whatever else happens this season, I think that is going to be a good way to kind of weave in this new Jonathan. Just have him appear like a couple of times in the first few episodes and then him properly appear a bit further down the line. Now I don't know if that's exactly what they're going to do, but that's how I would personally do it, just to settle fans in, because it will be a shock when someone else shows up as Jonathan and everyone on the show is acting like he is just a normal Jonathan, because it's always a huge deal when someone is recast. 
like it's not the same situation with Ruby Rose and Javicia Leslie because they were playing two separate characters that is easier to explain and that's more logical but having an actor change but the character being played by a different actor that is a lot to take in normally as a watcher of TV and so that's why I think the focus is definitely going to be more on Jordan and especially his development as Superboy because I believe Clark is going to continue training him this season. I would be very surprised if he doesn't get a superhero suit this season because it's been a long time coming and at the end of season 2 he really proved himself as a superhero who was able to save Clark many times and Clark has even accepted that he needs to train him just as a backup in case he can't do it and he's taken out and obviously it's very good for their family if they have two people that are trained and they have powers and they're able to protect themselves from the threats that they face and so like I mentioned before filming is starting very soon for Superman Lois season 3 I believe it's at the start of September and although it's kind of weird that he never returned to Vancouver although he was due to return like they were expecting Jordan to come back for season 3 I believe there was like an Instagram post that he made saying that he had some things to actually do before he comes back potentially to Vancouver for a season three of Superman Lois like he had to work on his mental health I'm pretty sure so it's understandable that if he wasn't able to properly work on himself he probably had to make a tough decision and say no I'm gonna step back from what I've been doing and I'm gonna focus on myself and I really do support that if that is what he chose to do so for now thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully it informed you this is breaking news I really wasn't expecting to make a video like this because Superman Lois seemed like it was going in a really good direction and the showrunner was happy with it, everyone was happy working on the show, so this is definitely going to be a big shake-up for the show, just like some of the shake-ups we're seeing currently right now in the Arrowverse, with Legends going, with Batwoman going, with Naomi going, and The Flash officially ending later this year. So where does this leave Superman Lois? That is the big question as of right now. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel and it will help out this video if you do that. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.